Tonight, there are calls for more crime prevention from the city after two people were shot and killed just hours apart in Boston. Good evening to you. I'm Ken McLeod. Six people have now been murdered in the city so far this year. WBZ's Laura Hafley checked in with some community leaders who are again demanding action. Yeah, Bill Russell. Uh opened this place when he was a Celtic. Slade's Bar in Roxbury has welcomed Boston locals, basketball legends, and their celebrity friends like Muhammad Ali. You know, Slade's has a, um, a special place in the heart of, uh, of uh, people in the black community. But community leader Reverend Kevin Peterson says the neighborhood has changed. 95% of the violence that uh, occurs in this city uh, with regard to murders occurs within a triangle of death uh, between Roxbury, Dorchester and Mattapan. Around 845 Saturday night, a woman was killed in Dorchester. Just three hours later, two men were shot outside of Slades in Roxbury. One of them died. Disturbing to neighborhood natives. That's a beautiful place right there, but I can't look at that place the same after that. Everyone has it tough. It's rough right now. Something Reverend Peterson is hoping will change and fast. We would be um, depressed to, to realize at the end of this year that um, the murder rate hasn't gone down. So far in 2023, gun violence in Boston is outpacing the year before. Between January 1st and February 19th, 2022, the city reported 13 shootings. In 2023, during the same time period, the city has reported 15. Reverend Peterson is now calling for a citywide response. I think the police and the, and, and the mayor needs to start with um, a plan that speaks to the issue of partnership. Without the police and the community sharing information, sharing a strategic goal, sharing uh, a planning process, then we won't get too far. Suffolk County District Attorney Kevin Hayden did acknowledge the violence and called on the public for help tracking down the suspect. We did reach out to the mayor's office for comment. We did not hear back immediately. In the Satellite Center, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.